Hello everyone, this is a video lecture for pre-calculus. We're doing 4.3, properties of logs. Um, I really need to work on my font. <laughs> Handwriting? Anyways, so let me give you the three big properties of logs. We got the product rule of logs. And so we got uh, log, let me try to write that a little bit better, log base b of m times n, that's a time sign right there, uh, is equal to log base b of m plus, come on now, plus log base b of n. Awesome. So what's going, and I'm, I'm just going to write them all up. Let me just write them all up. Quotient rule. So I've got log base b of m over n is equal to log base b of m minus log base b of n. Close enough. Okay. Uh, and then finally, last one is power rule. <laughs> Do you like how I say that? Probably not. So we got log base b of m to the p power. That's a p power. That p power is going to come down uh, to the front. So it's p times log base b of m. Okay. Let's talk about this. Um, all of these rules here are meant to simplify a logarithmic expression. Simplify. Simplify is such a, um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's just so subjective. So when I say, hey, this is more simple, <laughs> not really sometimes, or, um, or sometimes it is looking a little bit more simple. So simplify is kind of an odd thing. We're going to be using the words uh, expand and condense to be more proper. But anyways, if I have two things being multiplied on the inside, I could split it up with a plus sign on the outside. And so let's do an example for each one of these. Let's say that I have a log of 2x. And so I can split that up as a log 2 and then plus, a little bit more room over here, log x. So if there's a multiply between them. You could split them up as two separate logs. If you have a division, you split them up as well, but with a minus on between them. So let's say I have uh, 3 over x. So that means I'm going to have a log 3 uh, minus log x. So there we go. Uh, the p power is the super easy one here. Uh, let's just say I have log of, I'm just going to make something up here, um, 4 to the 7th power, something like that. Well, the 7 can come down to the front now, so 7 times log 4, okay? And there's base Bs with all this stuff and whatever. That's not the big thing. The big thing is that if you have a times, it's a plus. If you have divide, it's a minus. And if you have a power, it's now a times on the outside. Um, I can go into depth about all the little knick-knacky things here, but really, in the end, that's what it looks like. Do it, and you're done. So... The first questions, let's go through this. Four, three, nine. There we go. Not, not there we go. Okay, there we go. I've got uh, log, ew, log of x over 100. And they say simplify, kinda. They say that we need to uh, expand. And expand is definitely simplify, and we're going to use those properties, but we're trying to make it longer. Anyways, we just follow the formulas. Look, there's a division, so there must be a minus sign between them. And there you go, you're, you're done. But you're not done, because you got to keep going. Um, this part here, there's nothing you could do about the log x, but here this is technically log base 10. Remember, if there's no base, it's base 10, it's an invisible thing, common base, all that stuff. Um, so what's going on there is that this is log base 10 of 10 squared. 
And you can definitely go to the calculator and just say, what's log base 10 of 100? You can just type it in. It's super easy. Or you can see it that it's log, uh, it's 10 squared. Tens, the tens cancel, leave a two. Um, blah, blah, blah. Use a calculator or do it by hand. Either way, there's your answer. So we've expanded it. We've simplified it, uh, but make it, I don't know, longer, I guess you can say. And the reason why we're doing all of this is to be able to simplify, is to be able to solve for x eventually. So uh, not in this section, but the next section is all about solve for x. And how we do that is through this process here. Um, so they say expand it. Notice that we have a division, right? So the first thing I'm inclined to do is split it up with a minus sign between them. So it looks kind of like this here. Now, this one here can be simplified down. Notice that this is, yes, it's 9, but isn't that 3 squared? And the 3s are going to cancel, leave a 2. Uh, this here, what's this power here for the uh, square root? Well, it's a 1 half. It's a half power, and you can bring that half power to the front. Now, I kind of semi-skipped steps a little bit. And I know that this is technically new material, uh, but at the same time, I also know that most of y'all have taken 1414 with us, and you've seen this before. You just you probably had a final exam with this stuff uh, pretty recently, uh, depending on when you took the class last. Um, my point is that I'm guessing most of y'all have seen this before, and if you want to have a lot more on logarithms, I recommend doing this exact same section here in Algebra 1414 videos. So every every one of these sections is the same My Math Lab book. And so if you go to the Algebra 1414 videos and you look up section 4.3, you'll see me doing basically all of these again and then some. Um, and I'll show you every little step there as well. And I'm going to show you mostly every step here. My main point, though, is that this has all been done before. There's nothing new here. And so I, I'm, I'm kind of balancing between showing you everything and showing you the quick version, I suppose, which uh, both has benefits. Okay. So I'm really bad with lowercase letters. This is going to be an, an A, and he's squared, and he's multiplied by a B and then all over 16. Now that's six, I'm trying to make that six look sixy. <laughs> I don't know if you, you caught that, I know you did. Anyways, it's a it's a 66 instead of a <laughs> whatever. Okay, we want to expand it. Uh, this fifth root, just like a square root is a one half, the fifth root is a one fifth. And so in a way here, I'm saying all of this here is See, that B does not look like a very good B. All right. This is all to the one-fifth, and so that power, that one-fifth power, comes to the front as a one-fifth times log of all this stuff. A squared B 16. Now, the, the next thing that comes to mind, in my mind, is this division. Division here uh, would mean... Uh, subtraction on the outside. Oh, I, I forgot there's a base 4 there. Base 4. Anyways, so let me split that up. Now, both of these logs must still have that 1 fifth. The 1 fifth applies to every single thing that we have here. So 1 fifth, and then that log base 4 of 16. So I put a minus sign uh, for that division right there. Well, this right here actually can be simplified down. Again, this is 4 squared. Uh, so all of this here actually equals 2. You can also say uh, friends, and you say, hey, 4 to what power is equal to 16? And guess what the answer is? It's a 2. So you, the whole thing right there is just a 2. Um, we're going to fix this guy up here in just a second. I don't want to jump too many steps. But I do want to jump some. So 1 fifth, uh, that's a terrible little 5 there, uh, times 2. Okay, awesome. Now, there's a multiply here, right there. And so that means that there's going to be a plus sign uh, between those guys. So we got log base 4, a squared, and then I've got another plus, a 1 fifth, log base 4 of 
b and then finally minus i guess two fifths if you simplify it a tiny bit the two can come out to make that a two fifths that's a b so there's nothing really else to do there and you're done uh this took a long time there's got to be easier ways to do it right you know me i'm going to always go for the easy methods and so i'm going to teach you what i would call the chad method um because i made it up and my name's chad <laughs> anyways yay we've expanded it wow that was so much work so um you can do all these problems in about two steps with my new method and i'm just going to show you how it works it's pretty simple uh any term that's in the numerator uh you're going to put a plus sign in the front of that log Anytime you have a term in the denominator, you're going to put a minus sign in the front. And so let me demo that with the next problem. Uh, after that, you just do powers. So uh, 4, 3, 37 is a classic problem right here. LN. Again, not IN. That's not an IN. That's an LN. Logarithm. Logarithm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, natural logarithm, that kind of thing. Okay, so we got x cubed times, and then we got the square root of x squared, and then plus 3, and then all divided by, and we got x uh, plus 3, and then we got to the fifth power. Man, that sounds awesome. I promise you I could do this whole thing in two steps. Two steps. That's all I got to do here. Two steps. So, I need to recognize each term and make it go in the numerator or the denominator. This guy right here, that term, numerator. And so what I'm going to say is plus sign in the front, ln x cubed. Hey, why is there a plus sign in the front? Because he came from the numerator. Here's another term right here. And he's a numerator. So I put a plus sign in the front. Hey, why did I put a plus sign in the front of that thing? Because he came from the numerator. And then the next one, I have this big term down here. He's in denominator. So I put a minus sign in the front of that log. Hey, why did I put a minus sign in the front of that log? Because he's coming from the denominator. Wow. Yep, that was pretty awesome there. Uh, the next step is to bring down the power. So the 3, this is a 1 half, and this is a 5. That's a pretty terrible 5. Anyways, uh, 3 ln of x. 1 half ln of x squared plus 3, uh, and then minus the 5 ln of x plus 3. And you might say, well, hold on, Chad. How are we done? Isn't there some other steps in there? There is not. See this plus sign right here? I want to think, is there is there a formula? In there? Look, there's a plus sign right there. Is there a formula for something with a plus on the inside? Yeah, 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 right. Log of something plus something yeah and then so there's a plus sign on the inside and then it may wait never mind <laughs> i'm just joking with you of course yeah it, there's no formula for that there's a time sign a division and a power on the inside there's no plus sign on the inside so you're done there's like nothing else to do here so uh this is it let me take away those two little guys well where you add that guy you're done two steps Ta-da! Close enough there. Okay. Cool. Now we're going to go in reverse. We're going to condense. So we're going backwards from what we just did a second ago. And so uh, 8 ln of x plus 9 minus 9 ln of x. And we're going to condense. We're going backwards here. So first off, going backwards means we're going to start with the powers. Because that was the last step in the um, expanding part. Now it's going to be the first step uh, when we're combining these things back together. Okay. Minus sign on the outside. I know that looks so junky. I'm so sorry. Um, and that's another set of parentheses, by the way. So many parentheses. Uh, that's a minus sign. And so uh, on the inside, that makes a division. Er, so hard to write these tiny, tiny things. Maybe I should write 
big instead. <laughs> Actually, that looks pretty good. So, <laughs> I think this is it. Um, let me look at my notes. Yep, that's it. We're done. So, uh, you do the powers first, and then you go and do your uh, quotient or uh, product rules and whatever else you need to do. Okay? 4363. Good enough. I have uh, one half, and then uh, we got log base two of s. Oh no, they didn't, they had to do this. That's just, it's going to look like a five the whole time. Hmm. Okay, that's going to be my S. I'm going to try really hard to make it look uh, like an S. And then we got T. Okay. So, uh, they say condense, simplify, that kind of thing. Well, notice that we have this uh, parentheses stuff here. I feel like I should probably do something on the inside of the parentheses first. Kind of like PEMDAS stuff, right? So, we got a plus sign here, which makes... Uh, on the inside of the parentheses, inside of the parentheses, parentheses um, a time sign. So like that. We went from a plus to a times. And now this one half is actually going to be a power. Uh, we're going to bring him up and put him right there. And I believe you're done. I don't, I don't think you actually have to do anything else besides this. You could just say all of this to the one half power and it's fine. But it's it needs to look better, in my opinion, and a square root really makes it look cool. There you go. You also don't need to put a time sign there. You can just put ST. It's totally fine. Uh, but I'm using it because that's what I do. So <laughs> there you go. One half power, square root, same thing, done. Okay. This one's a big one. Four, three, sixty-five. So I've got uh, one half of log base 9 of x plus log base 9 of y uh, and then minus 3 log base 9 of x plus 9. Oh my gosh, why is there so many 9s? Ugh. It's okay. We'll do this together. That's why we're here. That's why you're here. You're going to watch me do it, and you're doing it too, right? Um, well, the first thing we got to do is powers. I, I see that this here can combine, right? This can be a time sign on the inside. So let's do that, and then I'll do the powers uh, here in just a second. Like PEMDAS stuff, right? So i got to do the parentheses stuff first. So I'm just going to put XY. This stuff over here doesn't change. Okay. So I'm going to move the one half up, move the three up. Again, one half actually means uh, square root. This is equal signs all the way here, by the way, if you want to be like super proper. So uh, let's see. With this cube, I'm always, I don't know. Should I do two parentheses and make it more proper? Should I do one set of parentheses and make it look better. Ugh, so much contention. There's a minus sign, which means division. And so I have now the square root of xy. And then I have this cube stuff uh, in the bottom. Cool. Whew, that was a lot of steps. I uh, actually don't have very many left. So that's kind of like the end of the condensing stuff, uh, which is nice. So we're going to like jump to a new topic here. Uh, They're talking about change of base formula. So the question itself, it says, uh, find log base pi of 65. Say, what is that thing? So you go to your calculator, put it in, you're done. Not that fast. <laughs> Hold on. So if you got a cool calculator or say like Desmos graphing, then yeah, you'd literally type that thing in just like you see it. In order to get the subscript, you got to do like shift minus sign uh, or you can click a button to make it work. But if you type that into graphing, you're good to go. But you're not going to have graphing on the very first exam. 
So we're going to stick or, uh, with Desmos Scientific. We tried this in Desmos Scientific. It does not work. And so what we need is a change of base formula. Okay, change of base formula. And uh, it's a very simple formula. It really is. Uh, log base B of M. You can rewrite it as log of M divided by log of B. And that's it. Now, you can also use ln, though often there's no need to, at least in this class. But say later in calculus, I would prefer you to use ln. Um, regardless, cool. Let's put this to, pr to practice. And it's very simple to do. So log of 65. Uh, and then divided by log of pi. And so you put that into scientific, decimal scientific, and uh, you come up with an answer, and you're done. Point uh, nine zero one two eight nine, round to whatever you need, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the main reason why you need to have this kind of formula is because Desmos Scientific does not use those subscripts. It just does not work. And so you have to use something else. And what are you going to use is, well, that formula. Okay. So the next question is, um, well, it's confusing. It's confusing, and it was confusing back when you did it in college algebra, uh, 14, 14, and all that stuff. But hey, here we go. So log of 4 is equal to W. Okay, thanks. Didn't underline it. Uh, and then it says log of 9 is equal to U. Oh, okay, thanks. Uh, and it says, well, using those, what's log of 81? Huh? <laughs> well, here's the thing. Is there any fours over here? No. Is there nines? Yes. That's actually nine squared. Nine times nine, right? Well, if you're simplifying, that two can come to the front. And so you have a two log of nine. You know what's interesting is that I've seen this log nine before. It's right there. Right there. And so now you're going to say it's 2 times u, or just 2u. And there you go. There's your answer. There are a lot more varieties of these. I'm going to do one more right here uh, that's also pretty complicated. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of different varieties of these. They're a little weird because you're writing letters in for the answers, but um, you're just simplifying. You're just simplifying. And again, if you go to my college algebra um, 1414 videos and go to 4.3, you'll see a lot of examples there uh, near the end of the section as well. So just as a reminder, it's always cool to jump back uh, to what we've already seen because, well, it's the same book, the same questions, the same content, the same chapter, the same section, the same uh, person. That's me. <laughs> you still get me. Okay, so I have these, uh, and then it's log of the square root of 6 over uh, 343. I got to say, this is way more complicated than all the other ones, but that is okay. We're going to figure this thing out. First, square root is a power. It's a one-half power. We can move it to the front. And so then I have division, right? So that makes a subtraction on the outside. And both of them get the one half. Do make sure to keep that up. Well, I already have the log six. That's kind of easy, but I need to make somehow a seven out of this guy. And act seven cubed, I think. I think that's seven cubed. I'm looking at my notes to help me there because it is a pretty big number. That's seven cubed. Well, that uh, three can come down to the front. Oof. This is now becoming a pretty long problem. But that's okay. Uh, we have these log base 6 and log base 7s. It's right there and right there. X, R. And so I have 1 half X minus 3 halves R. Yep. Yep, that's good. Uh, there's another way to answer it. 
that I have. I never uh, distributed the half to both of them. I just kind of kept it for the whole thing. Like I kind of just did this. Like this is what I did on my notes. And uh, what it actually ended up looking like was one half and then X minus three R. And that's totally fine too. This is, this is totally legitimate. They're both fine. Okay. I have one last question and it is from the other course, um, but it's not hard. They're talking about learning uh, sign language or something like that. And so it's, they give you this formula and there are so many words and it honestly is very confusing about what A and N and all that stuff is. Uh, T is in weeks, all that kind of stuff. It's, there's a lot going on. Well, A is the maximum and N is the portion learned. So it's like a smaller number, not potion, portion. <laughs> Hold on. There we go, the portion uh, learned. And so if you go and read the problem, uh, part A says, write as a single logarithm. Basically, we're supposed to uh, condense this down. Well, notice that we have a minus sign right there, which means it's going to be a division. So I got a 1 over C uh, ln of A over A minus N. Okay, This is going to hop up to the top as a power. So it's the seeth root of all that inside stuff. Problem is, is that, honestly, do you want to write the seeth root? I think I'm saying it right. Of all this stuff? Eh. I mean, you could. It's still true. But it's so weird. And so I'm going to say just stop here. And yes, my math lab does accept it. Stop there. Don't go any further. Ugh, sometimes you just don't know where to stop, right? Well, same here. Um, part B says that C is equal to 0 0.03. Um, and then it says the maximum is 55. And the learned, the portion learned, is 35. And so this is your N, uh, this is your A, and there's your C. And you plug them all in, and you get an answer. So uh, I'm just going to get it right there. Okay, so 1 over the 0 0.03 LN of the 55 all over 55 minus 35. So that's going to be just a 20 in the bottom. Uh, blah, 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 math, and I got 33 point, let's do that a little bit better, 33.72 uh, weeks, blah, 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 weeks, um, and they round it to 34, and there you go, 34 is your final answer there, whew, all right, that's all I got, so thank you very much, and have a great day.